Hey guys, so I would recommend you watch this from Caleb Hammer. It's a recent episode. It actually explains exactly who was buying MetaZoo and why they bought it. So if you've ever gone to a casino before, you know that one of the worst things that can happen the first time you go is you win a little bit of money. And casinos have great offers for new new members and they have a uh, store. Uh, free play credit so they want you to feel like you won uh, they even have like uh, t-shirts and free merchandise especially if they identify you as a new player to either their casino or to gambling at all they are actually incentivized to let you win a little bit because then you can be a lifetime customer and lose a lot that was MetaZoo in a nutshell so this couple they bought one box of MetaZoo for $100. They saw online that the box was selling for $900. Uh, and then they decided to buy more and more and more, uh, including a $5,000 Kickstarter for one of the original paintings of MetaZoo, uh, including, as they said, Mothman, which was at that time valued at $100,000. They were hoping to get that one. Uh, MetaZoo, as normal, did not deliver anything on time. Well, this time they actually delivered the artwork. But these two people, especially the woman in Lyme, she hates MetaZoo. She hates MetaZoo with a passion. She was screaming and yelling about how it ruined her life. Um, definitely watch this and you, your takeaway may be different from my takeaway. But my takeaway was they are not very financially intelligent individuals. They don't really have the education and they were buying this product because they thought that the product would continue to go up forever. So when you buy something, when you spend, let's say you pay $100 for something and it goes up to 900 after fees and so on, you're getting 700 back. I mean, yeah, why not spend a 5,000? Why not spend 10,000? Why not spend $20,000 on that item? Because you're seeing a massive return uh, on the investment, right? So a lot of these individuals in MetaZoo, not everybody, I would state this, not everybody, but they saw success, right? And then that made them want to buy more. When they want to buy more, I mean, it's very logical what's happening. They don't, they don't understand that it's a scam. When I mean, I, I don't know what stock has ever gone from 100 to $900 overnight. But that's what MetaZoo was, right? And, and again, you can pair MetaZoo to stocks is just asinine at this point in time. But the S&P 500 is an index of all these things, and it barely goes up 1%, 2% a day. It barely drops 1% or 2% a day. It's very stable, if you will. But MetaZoo is very volatile. It can go up 900%, but it can go down not like 95%. And that was the kind of entertaining investment people were making. So this is a couple who I believe had to file for bankruptcy before. And they're used to not having money. They're used to having max credit cards and payday loans and, and things of this nature. And they're not... They're, so like who's investing $8,200 in an alpha investment nightfall kit? It's these individuals. Are they super wealthy? Would I take investment advice from them? No, I would not. They have no idea. So like, they have no idea. And, and the question I've always had is, okay, so in my mind, like if you have $8,200 to put into MetaZoo, you probably have money in stock and real estate and other traditional investments. But they, these guys do not. In fact, right after this, they mentioned that they, she took out her entire 401k. Which, which is hilarious. They have tens of thousands of dollars invested in MetaZoo and the and zero dollars invested in a 401k. <laughs> I mean, what the heck is going on here, guys? Like, this is the type of financial education, um, the, the quality of individual in terms of financial education. Again, they seem like very okay individuals. Uh, I feel a little bad for the guy, right? But he seems like an okay guy. He, he was really into MetaZoo too. He opened a lot of MetaZoo according to himself, right? And this is the type of uh, individual who is getting caught up in all this, right? It's 
very sad to see. And let, let me just be completely frank about this. It's terrible. Terrible that Alpha Investment is selling to these people who are desperate broke. And I think there was a video where Alpha Investments, or it was some, no, it was Ross Cards from uh, the sports card. But they were telling people, hey, you know, the best way to get involved in sports cards is to max out a credit card. Sports cards can only go up. So if you pay off your credit, you, you buy a card with your credit card that you cannot afford, then you sell the card for more money, then you pay back your credit card at the end of the month. And then all you have is profit. They would actually get, he gave this advice multiple times to very young people. And this is kind of the advice that I think Alpha Investments is giving that, hey, max out your credit card, Meta Zoo is going to the moon. Uh, those videos have now been deleted, but like they were horrifically financially, financially bad advice, horrifically financially bad advice, uh, anything Meta Zoo related. And that's why he met Alpha Investment deleted all his videos because this couple could probably sue him. Would they win? I don't know. I think they have a chance. Um, but with those videos deleted, it would be much harder. And again, it's the evidence that's now gone, right? So if you wanted to know who is investing in um, MetaZoo, is it like really wealthy Monopoly men? Uh, is it Elon Musk? Is it... Uh, you know, how did they have all this money to invest? And it's easy. They have the money because they charge their credit cards and take payday loans. And then when shit hits the fan, just like MetaZoo itself, they declare for bankruptcy. And they don't pay off any of that stuff and they do this cycle again. Like, isn't it hilarious that MetaZoo itself has declared for bankruptcy? And its own player... So MetaZoo has bankrupted its player base or collector base, whatever you want to say it is. And then bankrupt themselves. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is not good business. This, these are not people that you would... When you go on Caleb Hammer and you sit across Caleb, you normally, based on who Caleb talks to, are one of the worst people to uh, financial. You are in financial hell, right? You ha do not have your finances under control. You do So am I at all surprised this couple mentions MetaZoo as an investment? No, because like Caleb said, what the F is MetaZoo? And why did you pay so much money? What, what is this? Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars across the MetaZoo community were spent on this game. By who? Like I always ask that, like, okay, like, I don't see no MetaZoo people on Facebook. I don't see no MetaZoo people on Reddit. I don't see no MetaZoo people anywhere like in, in my local game store. Like, who is buying this stuff? And it turned out to be people who wanted to get money very quickly from doing nothing. Like, it's the same question. Who's buying NFTs? Well, probably this couple, too. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the zoo.